ma ma chicken chicken ma ma chicken head ma ma chicken chicken ma ma chicken head ball head scaly wag ain't got no hand bag gelled up weave do your head mess do what your mama didn't tell you it was okay to play with your food UBS. Today we're going to cook a whole chicken on a truck in my instant pot. Okay, so I'm going to kind of break down a little bit of what's going to happen, and I hope that the way I've filmed this this time, that it lets you be a little bit more involved in the prep part of it. Okay, but uh, we're going to take a whole chicken. We're going to stuff it with boudin and uh and uh ghost pepper chili cheese and uh then we're gonna season it and we're gonna get it in the in the crock pot so it's, it's it's not gonna be a a hard thing but it's gonna be something we can do in a truck obviously because i'm about to do it so i uh, hope that this way turns out pretty good for me you guys comment and let me know if uh the angle was good okay so here we go <clears throat> of course we got our, our whole chicken here um and uh, this is some uh, olive oil and some dry seasoning um, and some boudin uh, dressing and some ghost chili curd, uh, ghost, ghost chili pepper cheese curds, okay? Now, <clears throat> uh, probably off screen, I'll, I'll mix it up and then I'll let you see the, the the end result but what i'm going to do is take some of this and some of the uh the stuffing mix it together in a bowl and and then i'm going to take that and shove it inside of the the chicken body here the cavity i'm going to stuff the cavity okay then i'm going to set it in the cooker this way so everything's inside so he's thinking well it's got another end over here right where you see that where the, the dressing can come out but what you're going to do is take the neck and most of the time you will clip that thing off okay but when you when i stuff it i take the neck and flip it and shove it down up inside of there and see how the, the hole just closed up i hope you all can see that okay so that's what i'm going to do so off camera i'm going to oil the chicken the only reason why I'm oiling it is so that the the dry seasoning will will stick to the to the outside. Okay, um, I got some ass burners here. I'm just gonna put those inside the pot and uh, and let them kind of uh, air mess their the uh, capsaicin oil out of the pepper and and into the chicken. So it's not gonna be extra uh spicy and uh and i'm not using a lot of of the cheese in there um some but it, it has a uh, ghost chili pepper so that's some bad some bitches but i like spicy foods and um if you don't of course you can use any kind of cheese uh it and and whatever makes it whatever whatever floats your boat okay i like spicy stuff my uh, rubs is not my dry rub is not spicy it's just uh some good stuff okay so let me get going with that and i'll get right back with you all righty guys we are back again look <clears throat> this is the cheese curd okay and a little bit of the stuffing i've already put 90 percent of it in there but we're just going to break it up and i use this cheese curd because it's um the cheese curd is a little bit more you know firm than uh regular cheese however if you if you if you put it in the microwave it's, it's just kind of damn near liquefied so it, it works out real well so anyway you just kind of mix it up 
okay and then what I like to do is hear my little inverter beeping it's because I had the the lights and everything on it kind of gets kind of firm like this and then take that and shove it in the in the cavity here again I've already stuffed it about 90% okay so uh, let's move on to the next step all right okay guys I have my as you can see our chickens off shiny now it's because I've already gone ahead and put the oil on it and basically I'm just down to having to put on the, the uh, rub so we'll do that now Here we go. Just shake it off. Be, be, uh, you know, liberal with it. You know, kind of put a lot. I'm going to put some in the bottom of the pot as well. But make sure it's covered really good. Both sides. Here we go. Come on. size really good look at that okay sprinkle a little bit in the bottom of the pan also and put a little bit of water in there as well okay by the way and i say this every time we we cook if you're not if you're not generally a clean person do not cook on your truck okay don't do it man i mean you, 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 it it can be messy you have to constantly clean and if you're not a clean person you're just gonna be you're just gonna be you know sick you end up getting yourself sick. By the way, I hope this audio is showing uh, is going to be good. I didn't put my headset on, so I'm hoping that you guys are getting some good audio. Anyways, it's time now to put our chicken into our instant pot. And remember, we got one side. That one right there is just going to go down, just like that. Okay, and we're going to try to see how kind of well. In fact, I think that's going to be even better because it's below the line, okay? So, you see how it went on its on its belly? I'm going to put it on, I'm going to leave the breast side down because the breast side has got the most meat on it and it's probably going to take the longest to cook, okay? So, let's uh, strategically here get our, our mess up and as I'm cleaning it up, getting it ready, you're going to kind of see what we're working with um, on the little table deal here we got set up i hope again that you guys can hear me okay so we, let's just put this in the instant pot for right now and as you can see this is parchment paper very little mess to clean up now very little mess to clean up Get a wipe here. See how clean we're, we're, we're doing things? You have to stay clean if you plan on cooking on your truck. Okay. All right. Now for our, our peppers. We're just gonna cut them and drop them in there. We're only cutting them to open them up and get them, get them kind of cranked off with the capsaicin going when the when the instant pot starts reaching temperature. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. Let 
Okay. That's it. Use my cloth and kind of get our. We got to actually wash these items, but I mean, you kind of just clean them. Okay. So before you. Uh oh, sorry. Got one more. You know, just just you know, clean as you get as you go along. And then when you get done, you have very little to clean up. Besides, you, you're, you're prepping this on your bunk. So you need to make sure that, you know, you just don't have a, you know, a cucaracha climbing up your goddamn ass while you try to sleep because you wouldn't ass as hell when you were cooking. Okay? So I'm going to uh, get this going in our Instant Pot and get right back with you. All right, guys. I'm hoping that uh, you're in frame and we got enough light okay so we just released the pressure all right and there is our chicken i can already see that it's at least the wing parts are already just about coming off of the bone so I'm gonna go into our little pantry here I got a drawer with the silverware okay let's let's kind of see here oh shit look at that uh, okay you guys may not be able to see that good so I'm just gonna bring you close Okay, there's that chicken, okay, look at that, see how it's just easily and tenderly coming in the list, okay, so this is what I'm going to do, ah, it's me, look, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this uh, sit in a pot for a little bit, and uh, cool down just a little bit only because if I tried to take it out of the pot right now it's probably going to fall apart but what I want to do is take it out of the pot put it on a, uh, a foil pan and put it in the oven and I'm only doing that to crisp the skin up a little bit okay so I'll take it out other pot in a little bit and let you see what it looked like before we put it in the oven okay and uh and kind of crisp the skin up just a little bit so so far so good okay guys our chicken is out as you can see the uh the meat is coming up the leg bone there that's a good indication that it's done that uh wing actually is actually coming apart that instant pot it's a pressure cooker and uh, it cooked this chicken in a total of 40 minutes the first one I went through uh, 30 minutes and it was okay but thought it needed to go a little bit longer so I put it in there for an additional um, 10 uh, 15 minutes I'm sorry so it was 45 minutes and now it's it's literally falling off the bone now it's time to put it in our oven and uh, and it kind of crisped up the skin a little bit and uh, let's see how, how that part turns out so um, let's I'm actually getting a little access to my to my uh, oven here all right hang in there Hang in there. Hang in there. Okay, move it right to the bottom. Actually, I'll use this one. Move it right to the bottom. All right. This is my oven. And I'm going to put that chicken in there. And, uh, and just kind of crisp that skin up. So, both hands on this. Hold All on. All right. 
that looks pretty good. Our chickens in our in our oven, so we're gonna go. Let's go to fifty and. I'm gonna put it on 40 minutes, giving it a couple of minutes to uh, come up to temperature. Okay, so let's close her up and let it do its thing. Ubiest, I believe we are ready to come out of the oven now. So. something to grab this that's what I'm gonna have to get when I go back to Walmart is some oven mitt to be able to get this stuff out of the oven without burning my little finger all right that looks pretty good looks really good and let me let me turn the oven off. Okay. All right, guys. This is our roasted chicken, and the the skin has some uh, bounce back to it, which is what you want. Uh, the seasonings look really good. Um, I, I I will get a fork and just taste the dressing on the inside and let you know what it what the dressing with oh man look at that cheese in it wow all right I know that I'm not in the screen. I tell you what, let me see if I can get in the screen. How's that? Okay. I'm just gonna taste the the the, the uh, stuffing. I'm a bad son, bitch. What? What? Look here. It's gonna take me a minute to. Uh, to take the bird, the bird off the uh, the foil here, and uh, damn, I'm gonna give me another bite of that. The boudin is really good, and it's not special boudin. It's just you know, bought at a grocery store, but I, I use them all the time. But <clears throat> That uh, that cheese curd with that uh, ghost chili pepper uh, seasoning in it. Woo, shit! It is good. Again, I like spicy stuff, but it's not overbearing because it's you know it's cheese. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and get it off the uh, off this foil, so I don't end up accidentally spilling some of this grease on my on my bunk, and then. Uh, I'll end it with a picture of my plate for dinner, okay? So, this is a, a whole chicken, a whole stuffed chicken done on the truck in my Instapot. So, hey, uh, at least you know I cook. I, I cook like some bitch now, okay? So, when I become a mentor, you're going to eat goddamn good, that's for sure. See what I see. Okay, guys. Uh, this is going to be my dinner. I, I got to heat my corn up. Hey, these are pretty good, by the way. These little containers of, uh, of vegetables. Uh, those are really cool because all you have to do is peel them open a little bit, pour a little bit of the juice off of them, and put them in your microwave, and you, and you are you're good to go. I put a little butter in there with salt and pepper, but... Um, Man, you can get it and get green beans also. But I'm gonna have corn tonight. And okay, my stuffing 
uh, should have been more than that. Okay, but shit, I kept eating it coming out. That that freaking cheese curd in the in that mix was freaking awesome. I normally put a different type of cheese. Sometimes I use pepper jack. Sometimes I use uh, you know regular American cheese. But uh, that cheese curd stuff. Oh man, did it taste good in there? Okay, and uh, and this chicken. I mean, it is roasted to perfection. I mean, it is. Look at it. It's it's, it's roasted to perfection. And um, we did the whole thing on the truck. You know, I mean, freaking awesome, dude. And uh, I'm about to goddamn eat shit. I hope. Someday, uh, I'll be your mentor, and while you're on the truck, you get to eat like this with me. Come and enjoy some of this goodness. <laughs> see what I see you. Hey, everybody, 50 Plus here. What do I do when my recruiter won't return my calls? They're lying to me. They don't have answers to the questions I'm asking. Problem is, once I get those questions, it's already too late. Industry standard, once a recruiter has got you, they got you. You belong to them. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you my recruiter's information. Her name is Autumn, and if you're thinking about joining Swift, that's who I want you to contact. You give her a call. She's going to send you through the process. Eventually, you're going to wind up on a mentor's truck. When you get in that truck, you're going to be in that truck for 200 hours. For 200 hours, I want your phone in the bunk. If you're willing to do that, I'm going to send you a Blue Pirate headset. You need to let Autumn know 50 Plus sent you.